Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this one, we're in Illustrator 2020, although this will work for pretty much any version of CC, uh, Creative Cloud or Illustrator 2020, they're separate. Um, and I want to show you very quickly how to uh, export individual elements out uh, very, very quickly. And for example, you can use them on websites and stuff like that. So you have a nice cool pat, you got a whole drawing like this. But let's just say you only want we want to use the face or the hair or the body individually for some reason. I'll show you how to do it. It's really really easy. Let's get going. All right, guys. Uh, I've got this selected here. The first step, and this is the critical step, is you want to go up to Window and then you want to drop down to Asset Export. This is a cool window. This is a cool option here that's available that allows you to separate things and actually independently um, not only render them and export them, but export them at different resolutions and in different styles. Let me show you how to do this. So we've got window, we've got the export asset export window open, as you can see here. I'm just gonna increase the size here. The next step, and it's a really simple one, is you just wanna make sure that you've got your to selection tool here. Select everything, and I'm just gonna show you the, the everything version, and drag and drop this into asset exports window like this. You're gonna see here it says asset 10. That basically means there are 10 assets getting shipped out here. They're getting exported. And I've already got them named, as you can see here. So the hair, the shirt, the body, the face, etc., etc. All of these are going to be exported. Now, if you want to go a little bit further, you're going to see here that I've got it set up for PNG. This should actually be set up for PNG 8 because PNG 8 has the transparency in the background. So it will not render the grayish off-white color in the background. It'll just be the ax the asset. If you want the white background or the off-white background you can add scale here you're just going to click on export settings here and it just says add scale and then here i'll make it 1x as well and instead of png i'm going to drop it down to jpeg 100 jpg 100 these are the higher res uh, the highest res versions of jpeg in illustrator here now if you want to increase the scale although you don't really have to but if this if there was a picture in part of the image uh, the these um these pieces are actually vector illustrations so they scale infinitely as you probably already know but if you wanted to add in say another scale you wanted to make it two times as high no problem or two times the size piece of cake pardon me and then let's just make this one png8 and boom you've got 2x so you've got whatever the resolution is on the original and then double that resolution guys this is how you go ahead and do some awesome things the last step here you want to select everything. So we've got that here and we're going to make this ready for export. So let's go ahead and do that. Export, export, export. Here we go. You're going to see here export for screens. We want to select everything. So I'm just holding the shift key down and then left clicking on it. So all of them are selected. These are the formats, export assets, and then boom, it'll shoot them all to the desktop like I've got here. So each one of these pieces is now on the desktop guys that's all there is to it thanks for watching the tutorial ton more stuff coming up stay tuned